Okay, so today I'm reviewing this dog bag. When we got Arthur five years ago, we decided to buy a dog bag so we could take her with us as often as possible as Italian greyhounds are notorious for having separation anxiety. When we shopped for this bag online, we considered a few factors. Number one, the weight it can carry. We had read that Iggy's weigh on average between 8 to 18 pounds, so we looked at the high end weight capacity for bags. Number two, the size of the bag. Although they are small, they have long legs and body. This is a tall, long bag that provides Arthur enough space to lie in comfortably. So this is the bag we chose. It's called a Genevieve or Genevieve and comes in two colors. We bought it on GlamourDogs.com, but this site doesn't seem to exist anymore. I did although find another online store that sells it and you will find the link just below in the comments. It's called Glamour Mutt. I don't know if they're affiliated to the other side or not, but that's where you'll be able to get this bag. Or you can simply Google Genevieve dog bags and see where else you can get it. So first, let me show you its features. Shoulder straps. It's got two of them on this bag and they are adjustable. They've got three adjustments just like a, uh, just like a belt. Uh, they also have, uh, they're removable so they've got clips here you can remove them. It seems a bit tough to do so. I've never done it um, so I don't know how easy it is. It has a um, cover mesh at the top which as you can see is completely removable or um, you can simply easily just zip it on and it will cover the entire bag to keep your dog in. It has a hole at the front with a slap to cover uh, the hole if need be. Need be. Uh, it has a um, collar strap here that you can tie the collar on. Um, we've only used it when she was a small young pup because she could actually fit through the hole and get out. Now that she's older, there's really no use for it, so it's a bit useless. At the back, it has an aeration mesh. Inside, it has a white removable lining, which you can take off to wash. And lastly, it's got a pocket at the front, um, which you can use for poo bags, treats, collars, wallet, keys, um, just a few bits and pieces as you need it. Um, we've carried Arthur in this bag quite a lot, which you can see from this wear and tear on it. So let's get Arthur in here. Arthur, bien. Allez, dans le sac. Allez. Bonne fille. Dans le sac. Dans le sac. Allez. Vas-y. Dans le sac. Allez, Arthur. Petit talent. Dans le sac. Dans le sac. Um, so as you can see, uh, Arthur sh um, can gets in nicely. Um, she's learned to do it on her own today. She decided to be a bit stubborn. Um, she goes in without a fuss usually and she doesn't seem to bother to be logged around in this. Here's a photo of her in the bag when she was just a pup. And here you see what it looked like when my husband has her on his shoulder. This bag is a bit feminine but still not too bad for a guy to carry. Now, I really like that the lining here goes up and on the head hole, uh, making it more comfortable for her at the neck. Now, the hole cover is a good feature if you want to take your dog where they won't allow them even in a bag like at Harrods, for example. Generally, we've been able to take them in any mall and most stores in their bags without issue. This flap can be tied up like we have it here, or you can undo the lining under her chin here, sorry Arthur, push it in, undo the strap here at the top holding the slap, unroll the slap, ask little Arthur to put her head in, step after, merci, and then the flap velcros where the lining was velcroed. Now I have a few issues with this. Number one, as we keep the flap uh, most of the time um, open and it's tied in a wrap position, it tends to keep that curl and doesn't go back straight again. And also, Arthur can easily push the flap open, which she often does when we do it. So it's not really um, keeping the feature, so it's not a very good design for this. Now the top zipper, 
um, is uh, very, doing a very good job at keeping her from leaving the bag when we do not want her. We also have been using it to place light objects such as leads, hats, or gloves on the top if we need be. The shoulder straps are strategically placed so that it doesn't um, go onto her head or uh, annoy the dog as you're transporting her. Also, having two straps on each side means that your bag is not going to go from side to side as you're carrying it or if it's on the table or on the ground. As you can see, this bag is starting to slowly disintegrate. Uh, but we also have had it for five years now and it's had its fair share of use. And I believe we'll be still be able to use it for a while. Now, I am giving it an overall rating of 3.5 and would purchase it again if needed. Well, that's it for this review. Thank you for watching and if you like this review and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel.